All right, here we go. It's very competitive. It's really good baseball, and you're just trying to go out and ball out as best you can alongside, you know, your best friends. It makes us better baseball players, and it's a lot of fun. I think the Fall World Series is important to me because as coaches, we get to see how our guys compete, and it's just fun to kind of let, let them loose and just let them get after each other and just, just have fun. It's really good for the players, too, to just kind of relax and be able to go out and play just without any kind of expectations or any kind of pressures. Uh, I think it's mostly just getting us like in the right mindset to be competitive with not only with each other, but to get ready for spring. And it kind of builds us to have a better bond with each other. So that way we go into the uh, spring with a better mindset and we're more comfortable around each other and able to have that connection, which in turn makes us play better. The biggest thing from a coaching standpoint is trying to make it as game-like as possible. To me, it's the only way to kind of try to replicate the spring games, you know, the intensity of it or the, the pressure, perceived pressure of games. Fall in, in general, it's been a really good fall. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting a sweep. I was curious going into it because I think gold had the advantage of being new too. Sometimes when you don't have that perceived pressure, they don't, when you don't know what to expect, that can be an advantage, but also the experience can be an advantage. So I was curious to see which might give an edge to one team or the other, but the experience played out better uh, for the black team. The series went really well for the black team. As soon as we got our first practice together, we all just hit it off right away and we're like, let's get to work. This isn't time to joke around, this is time to go out, whoop some butt, and show what we can do. It felt like everybody was just there for each other. There wasn't like one moment where another person was like trying to bring someone down. Everybody was just building each other up every at bat, every play. We were going into game three, 0 and 2, and just trying to get like a rally monkey going, but in this case all we had was the state puff marshmallow man. That's all Lance Hall read right there, man. He just came home with it like a month ago. And so we were putting shirts and sunglasses and hats all over him. So I think he was just trying to come up with something that will give us a little mojo. We got swept, which kind of sucks. But from a coaching standpoint, it's good to see like that half of our team knows how to, they know how to win, get, get a sweep. Like you always want to get a sweep in the spring. That's what we're aiming for. So it was good to see that. I thought we pitched it pretty well for the most part throughout the series. Patty Walsh gave us a hell of a start first game. And then second game, Sammy Sanchez, same thing, did really well. And then Mason Holton at the plate. I mean, he's a freshman. I mean, first time ever playing college baseball. And he just showed out the whole World Series. I mean, he had all of our RBIs for games one and two. So it was really encouraging to see that, then they need to carry that confidence from the Fall World Series into the spring. So I walked up there and had an approach, just get a line drive, base hit, you got two outs, do a job. Got up there, I saw a fastball middle away, and I was like, eh, not my pitch. And then next pitch was fastball middle, and I just turned on it. As soon as I saw him go over the fence, so it was just a really good feeling, especially coming into college, being a walk-on, felt really good to pulling over and help out my team. Being the walk-on, I came on and I was kind of like intimidated a little bit with how well I was going to get to know people and right away, like first practice, I was already built into a family that we had. It's just every day, everybody's pushing each other to work harder and harder. It's never just a go through the motions. It's always, hey, I'm here to play. You're going to make me better and I'm going to make you better. The thing that stood out probably the most was when you get on the field, we got a very competitive team. Another thing it pointed out was how close we are as a team. We were all breaking it down to family at the end of it. It just kind of shows that we're a really competitive group of guys who want to win and execute on a daily basis. We got a lot of dudes who are just dying to be on the field and want the best for their teammates and the best for the team. And It's a lot of selflessness and I think we're heading in the right direction for the spring to do something awesome for this program and I'm really excited to see what happens because we got a lot of really good players and a lot of dudes who are just hungry to win.